everyone, Jennifer here. So, I am shooting this video on Labor Day weekend. I don't know when you're actually going to see it, I have no idea when I'm actually going to get to edit it. But this video was highly requested and, and people have asked what is going to be in my hospital bag. So I'm about to give birth any day now. So this is baby number four for those of you who don't know. And my due date is not until the end of September. However, I saw my doctor yesterday and I'm already four centimeters dilated and I can just tell I'm having this baby. Last night I had um, contractions every 10 minutes for two hours and I almost went to the hospital last night. <laughs> but then I just got really tired and I just went to bed because I thought, well, if I wake up in extreme pain, then I know I'm going to be giving <laughs> Um, you know, we're much more relaxed about it this time around. So I didn't end up giving birth and I went back today for an ultrasound. So everything's ready and set to go and the baby's fine. So at this point, it's okay if I have the baby, even though we are early. But all of my children were delivered early. Um, that's just, they all come early. <laughs> they can't wait to get into the world. So um, today I'm just kind of relaxing. This is probably like one of the last videos I'll do before I have the baby, but I just wanted to show you what is in my hospital bag because I have packed it. I'm keeping the the gender of the baby a secret. I don't, I'm not telling you if it's a boy or a girl until after I have the baby. So I'm not going to be showing the baby clothes that I have here just because I do like to surprise you all and I've done that for each one of them. I will talk about it when I show you what I have, but I do have clothes for the baby, just a little hospital, um, just clothes for the baby to wear in the hospital and then to take home in. So um, there's not that much that you need, I find. And so I think this will be helpful for people. This is my fourth child. And I just know I don't need to bring a gigantic suitcase full of things. It's not necessary. We also live really close to our hospital. So if I forget anything or if I need anything, my husband can just, you know, go get it. So I'm not bringing that much, but I did think it would be helpful to show you what I am bringing. Okay, so let's have a peek inside my hospital bag. Okay, so I have my hospital bag laid open here and right from the top, I'll just go down and show you everything that I have. So I'm going to be packing my Kindle. This will actually probably go in my handbag, but it's loaded with books. I find that there's a lot of downtime in the hospital and um, I don't really like to watch TV, so I'm just going to be reading. And so I have my Kindle, that's very important. I have this um, little notebook um, I always carry something like this around in case I get any ideas for writing or, you know, just creative things like that. So I have that. And this is really random, <laughs> but I love to look at cookbooks. Do you like to do that? I love reading cookbooks. And so this is an Amish cookbook. I really like Amish cookbooks and I haven't quite looked through it yet. I bought it um, earlier this summer. So I just, you know, want to look through recipes and stuff. I like Amish cookbooks because the recipes are really simple and I actually get a lot of my inspiration for freezer meals from these types of recipes. So um, I have a cookbook to look at. I know that's very random. There's a few more random things in here, so be prepared. Okay, I have um, these uh, cloths for the baby. These are the Aiden and Anais, I believe you pronounce them. And I just have a few of these. They give you things in the hospital too, but of course I like my own and I've washed these with the, um, I washed all the baby stuff with the seventh generation um, baby laundry detergent. So they're all clean and ready to go. So I have uh, these two cloths here. Um, I also have all the clothes for the baby. So for the baby, I am bringing a coming home from the hospital outfit and just, you know, like a footed, footed pants, a little onesie, um, little cap. But yes, I just have an outfit for the baby, just a few things uh, clothing wise for the baby. Now, of course, if we need anything, my husband can easily go get it for us. In here, this is one of the other random things. I have a shirt for my husband. <laughs> So um, he's more of the fly by the seat of your pants type person. He doesn't really pack bags for things. So I just wanted a nice clean polo shirt for him just in case he needed one and he wasn't able to rush home. So you know how we ladies are always thinking of our husbands. Okay, so I also have some of my own socks because I know my feet always get cold in the hospital. So I just have some, you know, just white socks to wear. And then as for clothing, uh, you will recognize these from my uh, 10 item wardrobe video that I recently put up. 
but this is a nursing top, the Hello Ms. Maternity uh, nursing top. And so I have this. I will also bring my black fold over um, skirt, but that's currently in the washing machine. So I'm washing that right now. I will dry it and steam it and put it in here. So this is one of two outfits that I'm going to be bringing to the hospital. And this just has very, um, it's just easy to breastfeed in this top. So um, I'm looking forward to bringing that. The other outfit that I am bringing is the L.L. Bean dress, and I'm just choosing to bring this darker one um, with the dots on it, and I will link it below. I'll link everything that I can below for you. Um, but again, this is a nice um, breastfeeding uh, dress, and I think, you know, it'll look nice in, in pictures when people are taking pictures of the baby and me and everything. So, you know, you, you wanna bring something that looks presentable because you'll, you'll be looking at those pictures, uh, you know, in the future, so. Okay, I have one of these. This is a breastfeeding cover-up. You know, if I have visitors and I don't feel comfortable, obviously just nursing in front of them, I have this little cover-up, and this has been washed as well with the baby laundry detergent. So I don't know if I can find this exact one, but I will, I'll try to link some of these things below if I can find them for you. The rest, let's see, I have sleepwear here. So, and you spend a lot of time, or at least I do, just in lounge sleepwear in, in the hospital. So you will recognize these um, nursing nightgowns from my 10 item wardrobe video. And I've already showed them, they have the built-in bra and they're very easy to uh, nurse in. So I have the blue one and the black one and I am bringing both of them, those are the only two uh, nightgowns that I am bringing. So I'm bringing both of those. And to go with those, I have two different uh, dressing gown robe options. This one, I love this, um, this dressing gown, it's navy. And I'll try to put it so you could see it a little bit better. I will link this below. But it has nice um, lace at the end. And it just looks really pretty just wrapped around the, uh, to cover myself up, wrapped around the nursing gowns. Um, so it just is navy, it's very simple. It has um, a robe collar. I will try to do another shot of it so you could see it a bit better. So that is one of the ones I'm going to bring. And then the other one is this oversized black sweater. Uh, it's like a sweater robe and it's very long. I got this at Nordstrom. It's from the Nordstrom lingerie department. This will just go nicely over, you know, the black one or, or the blue one. Or if I'm cold, it can also it can also double as just a regular sweater. I have a pair of maternity leggings that I'm going to bring. This is you know in case my legs get cold or um, I just want to wear something underneath one of my nightgowns or even one of my dresses. And then I always bring an empty pillowcase to put my dirty clothes in. So if I have soiled clothes, I don't want to put them back into the same suitcase or you know touching my clean clothes. So I just I just have this um, empty pillowcase um, to fill with dirty clothes. These are just shoes from Daiso, the Japanese dollar store, and they're shower shoes and just little slippers I can walk around the hospital in. They were literally a dollar or maybe two or three dollars, I can't remember, but you don't want your bare feet to touch the floor of the shower. So these are the types of things or I bring, or you, know, you could bring rubber flip-flops if that works for you. Of course, I'll have regular shoes as well. Here I have um, just my iPhone charger, my Kindle charger, and some headphones. As for toiletries, you can see my, my makeup bag. I tried to clean it for you, but it's kind of pointless. It, I just, it wouldn't do it. <laughs> it's got makeup powder all over it, so I'm sorry it looks a bit dirty. But let's see what I have in my toiletry bag. This is what I'm going to bring. So I have just a regular banana clip for my hair deodorant and this is the um, the lavender sage one from Schmitz the natural deodorant I really like that one um, I'm bringing the Ben soap island coconut goat milk lotion because I just love this and I know it's kind of big I should I should bring a travel size lotion but I just really like this stuff so I want to bring it and I have room for it um, as for skincare items I am bringing the um, Hello 
they changed their name to Pelu. They used to be called Nudu, and that's why it says Nudu on this. But I'm bringing the Pelu um, skincare. So just this cream cleanser, and it's nice because it's small. And then the gentle moisturizer and the overnight renew radiance cream. I could probably just bring one moisturizer actually so it doesn't take up so much space. I don't need to have both, so maybe I will take one out. But that is uh, what I'm going to bring for skincare. I have, what else do I have in here? I have two hair ties, some dental floss, and um, toothpaste. This is the Honey Bell Long Lasting Lip Balm. I really like that one. My son lost the cap, but I still have it in there. <laughs> and then in this little bag, I have uh, some, just some Q-tips and I just leave it in case I need anything extra. And by the way, I'm sure I'm forgetting a lot of things. If I remember something else I packed, I will leave it below. I want, you know, minimal toiletries. And then in my makeup bag, I'll quickly show this to you. Um, so I have the Bare Minerals uh, Foundation, the Bare Pro Foundation. Okay, um, for, I have just a few eyeliner options. I only need one, but I'm just gonna keep them all in there because they hardly take up any room. I have the Mineral Veil and also this powder, um, the Bare Pro in Sandstone. So it just depends on what I want to use. This is a brush and I can use this um, if I need it for anything. This is the Chanel Le Beige uh, cream for the cheeks and it's nice because you don't need a brush for it. So that is that is blush. Then I have some concealers and I'm realizing I have three more blushes and bronzers here. I don't really need these so I could probably take them out because I have the Chanel one. Um, I have just a, a sharpener. Of course, my burgundy mascara. This is the L'Oreal one and the primer. And eyebrow um, powder and then these are from bare minerals they're actually primers but they also work as eyeshadows and i'm bringing these because i don't need a brush to apply them i could just use a blending brush but you could use your fingers and i could show you these down the line they're great for the Lano makeup look um, it's not the best eyeshadow in the entire world but it's just very natural and it just suits my purposes for this trip so anyway i, I actually really like those that is it i packed everything up like i said if i forget something crucial i will definitely update you of course i have um undergarments i'm not showing those but you know i have undergarments as well um and then the baby clothes which i'm keeping a surprise until i have uh, the baby actually by the time you see this i might have already had the baby so just check my Instagram account and you'll find out what I had. <laughs> um, so yes, I don't find that the baby needs that much in the hospital. You just need clothes and just nice clean cloths and cuddle things. So, um, oh, I also forgot, of course, I'm packing, um, let me show you this, these, um, what is the brand here? Lansino, and these are the pads that you put in your bra for, you know, after the nursing period. And these are just absolutely critical. I couldn't live without these postpartum. So um, I will link these below, but you, you have to have these basically if you plan on breastfeeding. Even if you don't, I think you need these for the first, um, you know, at least week or so. So you put these inside your bra. So I have a bunch of these and that was, that was really uh, crucial for me to bring as well. Okay, there's Ben. How are you feeling about the baby? Yeah, excited. It's gonna be great. I mean, it's coming soon, I guess, next couple of days. So uh, yeah. yeah, really excited. Yeah, so, but we, we've done this before, so you're just like, you're not nervous or anything, are you? No, I mean, it's the fourth time for us, so I mean, it's, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to film the whole, whole thing, so yeah, that'll be exciting. You're going to film it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that will not well, be going on the YouTube channel. <laughs> from the right angle. <laughs> um, anyway, I think, uh, I just showed my hospital bag and I packed you a shirt. So. Oh, thanks for that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said you weren't really the type to pack hospital bags. So. Yeah, exactly, I'll probably just go like this. Oh, he's in his, uh, he's in his swimming trunks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll see how it goes, yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> All right. Brilliant. Good okay. planning. Okay. I hope you enjoyed that and also Mr. Connoisseur's interview. He's always so funny, isn't he? <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today on The Daily Connoisseur. I will try to leave as much as I can uh, listed below, linked below. Um, if any of you are interested in anything, if you're about to have a baby yourself, I would love to hear from you. Let me know how you're feeling, how you're doing. 
everything. What, what baby is this for you? Is this your first child? Is this your fourth child? Let me know in the comment section below. And thank you so much for joining me today on The Daily Connoisseur, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.